guys, it's 21 Maxwell here, and welcome to another edition of Maxi Recommends, another Football Manager Wonder Kid for you today. And today we're going to bring you a guy you may recognise from the World Cup, which was the young Uruguayan defender Jose Maria Jimenez. As you can see here, he's at Besiktas and loan. This isn't actually in real life. He's still at Atletico Madrid, it's just where I'm at this save point. But, um, as you say, he played for Uruguay at the World Cup. The guy has a absolutely massive future ahead of him in the game. He's certainly getting opportunities at Atletico Madrid, but he can become available in Football Manager 2015 if you get him at the right time, and he's certainly one player with a hell of a future in the game. So we quick low down him at the moment. You see here, he's on to be sheet to the spot, so you can get him at the start of the game, so first season straight away, you can get this kid on a loan deal. He's 19, he's quite tall at 185, you know, decent weight for 19, you know, he can still bulk up. He's a right-footed centre-back. He's on a pretty low wage, about nine and a half grand, so not too bad. If you're in the Premier League, he's a player you can maybe invest or bring into the team, develop, and then hopefully maybe get a future fee on him. But um, he's not worth too much. I don't think you will prize him away right at the start, but he's definitely one if you can loan him. You can look to get him in. And he'll be a solid acquisition and maybe get, a, maybe get lucky and bring him in on a permanent basis. So look at his stats. You see here, tackling's 14, marking 13, and heading 13 are the three you'd stand out for as a defender straight away. But for a defender, he also has decent dribbling at 11. I mean, come on, he's a centre back and he's got 11 dribbling, not bad. Decent technique. You can also pass, 11 is quite decent for a centre back, so you can maybe use him as a, a ball playing defender. Technically, he's, he's very good. Mentally, again, for 19, he's okay. You know, he works hard. His vision's a bit poor, determination's the one that really lets him down. But. You know, everything else kind of puts him in good stead. Flair's a wee bit meh, but his decisions are good. His an anticipation's okay. Aggression's good. He's brave. I mean, he's 19. They're going to improve over time, and you could have yourself a, a steady centre-back. As far as the physical side of things, natural fitness is 17, so he's going to last 90 minutes in most games. Strength at 14, stamina 14, acceleration 15, pace 12. They're all decent. Again, 19. These will improve over time. And his agility and balance are both at 13 and jump reaches at 12 but again you can all train these and he can become a decent centre half. So I mean that's him at 19. Yeah, you see there his best role is a centre back, he can also be a limited defender or a ball playing defender and if you're really struggling he can fill in at right back. Now you're wondering, you can get him in loan but how much would he cost you? Now, it might be quite hard to get in the first season but if you can see here with his contract, he's contracted to 2018 he is available to pick up in a Bosman at 2018 if he doesn't break through Atletico, which he didn't in my Rangers save. As you know, if you've watched that, you'll see I've got him. I've got him in loan in 2017 to 18 and then got him on the Bosman. So you can either wait out and get him then and hope that he doesn't progress into the team and sign him, or you can get him for his minimum release clause of 15 and a half million. So he might, he might be worth near 15 million as it gets closer to 2018, maybe like 2016. But if you think you can maybe loan him in, he's not getting games, and then eventually get him in a pre-contract, then then who knows? But I quick look at his scout report. It says he's going to be a potential star player in the Serie A, so he's going to be very, very good in the future. They know that. Um, he's a very professional player. He already would be a, a good signing for most Serie A sides. He's naturally fit. He wouldn't want much wages, you know, maybe 11,500 to 21,000, so that's pretty decent. He can adapt well. He's consistent. He's athletic, he's versatile, and of course, he's a current international. The only thing is, he's got a balanced and normal personality. Would need to learn the language. He's fairly poor in the air, but again, that's going to come over time. He's just a young defender. He can train on that. He's going to make mistakes. He's not going to be fully consistent. And hopefully, as he progresses in his career, he can get better and better. As you can see here, a couple of seasons into the game, now in 2020, so this would be just after his contract would have expired at that time. He's now 25, and he's now rocking it up at Bayern Munich. Already got 59 caps for Uruguay. Nice little 125k a week, so he's doing not too bad. Valued now at 19.5 million. And yeah, he's, he's developed well. The markings up to 16, heading and tackling are both at 15, so they've definitely improved. Even even his dribbling's up to 12 and first touch and that, but their stats he don't drill about. As long as he's primarily focused on tackling, marking, and heading, then he'll have developed well. Work rates up to 16, positions now at 16. Um, anticipation, bravery, concentration, decisions, composure, leadership. These are all stats you want as a centre half. These are all improving now. So he's nearly getting to kind of 
world class level. You wouldn't say, wouldn't say they've developed him greatly, you know, he could have been a lot better. But it's still decent, and he still would definitely cut it easily in most leagues and in most teams. Acceleration 15, his stamina is 17 now, strength 16, so he's definitely been working on the physical side of his game, that's definitely matured over the ages. And all around, he just looks like a really good centre half. So, if we quick look at his report, you see here he'll be a leading player for any Premier League side, that's really good, he's professional. Plenty of experience now because he's got all those caps for Uruguay. He's reliable, won't let the opposition get past him, he's consistent, he's ambitious, he wants to win. And obviously he's got that versatility. They just feel at this time in his career he'd be unlikely to improve and he'd be fairly susceptible to injuries. But you know, I think he looks really good. It says there four and a half star. Definitely a really good defender. And you look at him there. He certainly progressed into a really good centre half, and I can vouch for him at Rangers. You know, he was absolutely solid for me. Um, and he's a player that I think uh, a lot of people are going to have faith in, and I think if you can get him for the right price, it'll be good. Quick look at his history. You can see that he had the loan spells at Rio, and this save, and the loan spell at AC Milan. A couple of games at Atletico before PSG went out and paid £14 million for him, so just under his release clause, but that showed you if PSG is looking at him. Then you know they've obviously seen he's got massive potential. Didn't quite cut it at PSG, but he's moved to Bayern. He's starting to get games there, so that shows the potential there. If you can get him for the right price, so easily at the start, if you can get him for maybe eight million two seasons in, he's definitely one that could turn it a world-class centre back with the right development, the right tutoring, and the right amount of first-team football. So again, really good player. It's interesting to see how he's progressed in 2020 and how he's going to progress further on in his career. Here he is, 15 years into the game, and this is obviously from a different save, so again, his stats in his career went a little bit different, but it's to give you kind of a different idea of how he'll progress in different saves, because with the, the random PA that everybody has, you know, some sometimes a potential ability could see him turn into a world beater, sometimes he could fail, it's all about the right development and the right amount of game time. So this is him, and this save, this is my Hereford save from Twitch, he's got... 114 caps and 4 goals at the age of 34 for Uruguay, so a great international career. He's now, as you can see, he's a hull. We've transferred him into a bit of a right back, but you know, he mostly has a centre back. You can see here, it's one of the ones where his dribbling's not really progressed, but look at the marking 20 marking, the tackling and the head and having him really come off, but it's the, they've probably declined because of um, age, but the mentals are fantastic. 17 leadership, 17 positioning, 16 concentration. 17 anticipation, 15 composure, 15 decisions. It's just a shame his aggression hasn't really taken off in this one. And you know, looking at the likes of his strength and his stamina, that's all went down, but that's just down to age. I said there's uh, no point in this one, we're getting a scout report on him because he is 34. And obviously, everything will be like, oh, he's very poor, etc. etc. But we'll look at his career in this one. It's the first season he went to Torino on loan. And he had a decent loan spell there, starting 16 times, 4 star appearances, decent average rating. Then went to Villarreal, so good experience again in this time in La Liga, before going to Fiorentina, doing a full season there, and really developing in Serie A. This again, seen PSG take him on, for 11.25 million, and the following season, saw Barcelona snap him up for 14.5 million. Two great seasons at Barcelona, with 7.08 ratings and 7.17, playing in the league 64 times, prompted Villarreal, who have a tycoon in my save, to pay £44.5 million for him. So you could sign him for, you know, a couple of million, maybe eight million, maybe get him in that Bosman, you could be selling him on for £44.5 million to a big, big club. So he went there, a good first season, 7-1.9, four assists and three player matches. Unbelievable, hasn't scored in his career. A couple of good seasons there, fell away in 2023-24, went to Man United, for £8.25 million. Didn't really feature there, and then went to Hull and has dwindled his career out there. But he's done well, you know, he's managed to play there quite regularly. And overall, I'd say he's had some career. But I think not many people are going to get to the likes of 26, 27 or anything like that. You know, more than likely most FM saves will finish off about 21, 22, etc. Maybe even won't even get that far. But if you're looking for a wonder kid, that's a centre half. You know, that's got a wee bit of name value, because obviously he's, he's featured for Atletico and that. Then definitely look at Jose Maria Jimenez. He might get an upgrade um, in the update when uh, SI release it at the end of the month. But if you're not playing a save before then, if you're playing a save, sorry, before then, definitely look to get him. 
And even if it does get an update, you know, it might still be one of those players that, you know, might not get any favour at Atletico. They might go with other guys, and when his contract expires, he's one player I would 110% recommend. And I can say that from, from personal experience. So this is Jose Maria Jimenez. I would definitely give him a, a, a 9, 9.5 out of 10, you know. I'd probably say Balan is better, but he, and he's easier to acquire. But Jose Maria Jimenez, great potential, and will be very good. I just don't know how you use him. So if you have used them guys, please leave any comments in the comments section, let me know how he done it for you, you know what I mean, uh, if you played against them, just how good it turns out, any gazzles or anything, or any screenshots of them, please put them in the chat as well. If you like this video, please leave a like, and until next time, this is 21 Maxwell, and I'll speak to you all real soon. Bye bye.